when you went back to school, did, was it was it weird or was it again just this? Well, this is who I am. This is what I do. How can I know whether it's weird or not? Because I've got nothing to compare it to. How much would you be it, missing by by the time you were sort of eleven years old? How much? Well, I mean, I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm, you're missing a lot. I think it. it, it I mean, in retrospect, I can look at it because, like, when I was 11, I started senior school in Muswell mm. Hill. I started going, and my older brothers went there. And we were, my older brother had been on a TV show called Our Show, which was a Saturday morning kids show, and he, he was sort of well-known because yeah. Saturday morning TV. He did the skateboard section. He was, right. you know, um, it was very popular. Um, but, but I think in, in retrospect, you kind of look how... I, when I think about who were my really close friends at school, I had, like, one. Yeah. And and I would flit around with other people, and I, and I would always feel a constant pressure to to uh, to be likeable. And, right. and But because I had something that was easily uh, targeted if you were jealous yeah. or, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. or just... You've got a target on your back. You've yeah. got a target on your back, exactly. And, and, and so, the, the, you know, navigating that when you get home and you've got chewing gum in your hair uh, and you go, oh, f what, what has that happened? You, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. very real thing because yeah. no one likes that. You don't just go, oh, well, they're just jealous of me. I mean, <laughs> well, obviously, I've, you know, I've been an elephant man, of course. Then. Yeah. But, but you go, oh, man. Yeah. You, you know, and so... You're navigating it a different way. I don't think it's just... It becomes very isolating and lonely, And but you don't kind of realise that. Yeah. That, that's the thing, because then that can then lead into other patterns of behaviour. I'm just, you know, breaking it down. <laughs> oh, you'll be, yeah, but also you, you don't know, do you? I mean, you wouldn't have known this at the time, but do these people really want to be your friend or do they want to be friends with the famous boy? Yeah. That's, that's the other end. I mean, but... But I, I always. But I'm mean, just in my own experience. I always was glad when someone would be my friend. But that's my. They were friends for a very little space of time. Really. I, so I, was, I had one mate yeah. I can remember from really well from school who, who sadly died at Gosh. the age of fifty. But, but he was a great mate, and and he he went on to become a very successful drummer in a band called the Divine Comedy, oh, and course, he was yeah. a great yeah, guy, yeah. And, and and I and I miss him dearly. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I think that's maybe the answer to that is that the, it, it would I would be all right to hang around with for a while or whatever, but but that you know I obviously lost my value or or, or, or was not. Uh, and you can't put the you can't put the hours in as well because I mean you know that was the age when you'd be in the park until it got dark yeah. or you'd be you know and yeah. it'd be the same people every night every and you were never yeah. you weren't around long enough. No, I was I was I was off a lot. Exactly, I was off filming. I, I think it, that the thing about people hanging around me because of what I was became when I later a when bit I later. When, yeah when I had money sure. in my late teens and early twenties. Okay, well we'll get uh, on to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what that, were mum and dad like with the with the success? Because I mean, the, the, did they keep did they keep you in check? Did they look after you, or were they a bit kind of gobsmacked by it all, a bit nonplus? Um. It's hard. That's a tricky one because my mum ended up becoming my agent, sure. which which probably was not the healthiest relationship, really. It, no. You know, because it's business and family there. You and Charlotte Church both. Well, she there sat you in go. that yeah. chair and said something very, very. Did similar. she really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, I think Charlotte probably had a few more pounds to deal with than <laughs> I did. She really. I mean, you got to make some serious mm. dough at that age. She did, but. Yeah, that that really skews the okay. the dynamic because you're earning more than they are. God, yeah, cool. And you know, and and the house needs sort of some serious bit of renovation, and the parents mm. have to come to you and oh. ask you at twelve years old for the money for the boiler. Right. Of it's course, crazy. of course, you say yes. Yeah. But it changes the dynamic massively, and 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 that's where it can get really skewed, and and things I think. You know, although they're the adults, I think there's still a dynamic involved. Of I'm sure is. my dad was really happy that I was, <laughs> you know, <laughs> saying yes, yes. Why don't I pay for the extension yeah. on the back garden or whatever? whatever it was. You know, uh, of course. Uh, that that's that's got to be a tricky thing. Yeah, uh, I'm hearing so, loneliness then, in a way. Would you have used that word yourself? Yeah, not at the time. No, I, it took me a very long time to realise that that was what it. That's really where it. Because you up. were in the middle of exciting things, lonely doesn't really fit that expert, and yet that's what was yeah. going on inside, in a way. Yeah, yeah, but but even admitting that and connecting to that and understanding what that was, and, you know, you're surrounded by people telling you, you've got it good, mm. you're very lucky, oh, you know, you're just, you know, you always get the job, you know, mm. and because I had two elder brothers as well, and they were actors, and 
and I was just the standout kid. I just was the one who everyone went, oh, mm. him, mm. he's got it. Mm. And you you don't know why when you're a kid. You don't go, oh, yeah, I've really honed my craft <laughs> and, I've, and I've really managed to, you know, you just go, okay, because everyone yeah. says, you're good. And you go, well, what am I good at? Yeah. You, you don't have the faculty or the... Because it's just happening. It's yeah. Not, it's not... So not, yeah. not even ambition then in the conventional sense of the word, in the... No. Just, just, just things coming along. Yeah, that's very much how it feels because that's where the imposter syndrome and all of that comes. Yeah. It's not like being Charlotte, where Charlotte would have gone and learnt and 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 developed that voice and built it and and then built on that initial talent. And there's got to be a lot of work and dedication within that. With acting, mm. as a child, stand up and be happy. Bing and and mm. uh, you're you're a fairy in the forest. You know, these are things that are imaginative leaps. And I find it working with child actors now yeah. is that you can place the thought and emotion in their heads really easily, because they just they they take it. In. But you can't explain to them now. Remember that time when you were really sad when your dog died? Yeah. Because they don't have that emotional connectivity that you do as an adult. That you can. So the thing does come a lot more naturally and easily. It's only when you start to get older that you, you got to think about it. Well, you start thinking too much. You start thinking too much, and you go, "Oh shit! I don't. What do I know?" Yeah. Uh, because it's all based on your instinct and 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 people just giving you the right cues. That's interesting. And and so then you have to learn the craft. Sure. But by that time, you're the lead part in a TV show that everybody loves, or yeah. you've just done a film with Al Pacino. <laughs> 